Hi, everybody, and welcome to our lunchtime learning session. It's Friday, so it is lunchtime learning. And I hope that you are all really well, that you've had a good week, a nice warm week, and uh, you're ready for a bit of really exciting um, uh, learning from three people I've got with me today. And I love having uh, these three people on my lunchtime learning today because all of them, um, I have worked on helping them to get their books written and published. And mm. they are Crystal Hayes, Jenny Tedbury, and Taruna Chauhan. And I just want to talk to them today about what has um, what has really worked for them in terms of, of, of writing the book, but also the book magic that happens after you've had your book published. So um, I'd love you just to all introduce yourself first. Cristal, would you like to start? Sure. Hi, um, I'm Cristal Hayes and I am a psychotherapist and also recently trained in EMDR trauma work um, and yeah author should I mention the book yes oh definitely yeah. mention the book yes <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote a book called Angry Mother Assertive Mother from Maternal Anger to Radical Repair and who, who's your book for oh so my book is for mums who are um with children of all ages really, but mums who are struggling with um, their anger and rage and intense emotions and how to sort of navigate intense emotions whilst they're with their kids. I think that's such an interesting one. It's almost a sort of taboo subject, isn't it? You're kind of, you know, when you become a mother, you're not allowed to be angry. You have to be nice and lovely and always, you know, <laughs> calm and loving. And I think it's such a it's uh, I think uh, your book has really kind of unleashed um, a, a, a view of what is really happening under the surface. So um, so it's brilliant. Um, Jenny, um, tell us about you and your book. Okay, hi, lovely to be here. Thank you for inviting me, Lucy. Um, I'm a former nurse, uh, previously Director of Public Health in the Health Authority, uh, just finished my psychology master's, and I also run um, a charity for homeless young people and um, a separate house for young women with what we call life controlling issues. Um, my book is called, We're All a Little Bit Broken, because I believe we've most of us got something going on in our background um, that, that is impacting at the way that we live today. Um, and that was specifically written with some stories from the girls in my house. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful book, yes. Thank you, Jenny. And Taruna, tell us about you and your book. So I'm um, a consultant coach and a mentor in the healthcare sector. I predominantly work with private clinics. And um, I wrote my book, Outstanding, got published in November 2019 and entered into the Business Book Awards 2020. And I was shortlisted, which was amazing to my surprise. Um, my book is all about the things you need to consider when you're making an application to the Care Quality Commission. If you're doing what they call a regulated activity, for instance, personal care, surgical procedure, things like that. Um, and I wrote the book because I kept being asked the same questions and I got fed up of answering it over and over again. So um, I thought, you know what, I'll write a book. So that's what I've done. <laughs> there you have. Yes. And it's very, very brilliant. It is, too. So I want to I want to ask you all when you thought about writing a book, I mean, before, you know, any of us ever met, what were the what, what what did you think would be your biggest challenges? And did they actually did, did those, you know, what you thought would happen? Did they turn out to be the challenges that you had? So so, Crystal, what 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 did you think would be the most difficult thing about writing a book? I think for me was about structuring all my ideas and um, into a book and having it sort of flow in a, in, a, in a logical way where people can go through a process while they read the book and actually having, being able to, because I have a thing called dyspraxia, which means that I struggle sometimes to put things in like a logical step-by-step -step order. 
And I thought that would be my biggest challenge in, in, is that actually ordering all my ideas into a book that would make sense for someone else. And, and did that turn out to be your biggest challenge or was it different than you, the writing process different than you thought it would be? I think once I had a, a structure in place, like the, um, like the bare bones, like a skeleton in place, then it made writing the book so much easier for me. So when I joined your um, Abu coaching in your guide, you had like a very um, clear way of how you can structure your book. And following that was like a dream for me because it meant I could, I had something that I wouldn't just go off on some kind of crazy tangent. I could keep myself structured. <laughs> Yeah, yeah yeah no no absolutely I get no I mean I am I am as you can probably all remember I am a kind of structure fanatic and I I you know always want people to plan their books before they start writing because whether you're dyspraxic or not um, I think that is that that is the the best way to get a logical flow through your book and also it just makes the writing so much easier because if you plan in detail you just that you never have that problem of thinking oh what shall I write today? What comes mm. next? What else could I say? Does is this in the right place? So, yeah, um, yeah. so yes, yeah. so 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 that worked for you. What what did was there a, another challenge that turned out to be um, to to be difficult for you in the writing, or or did you kind of just? I, I know you wrote your book very quickly, actually. Well, I did a lot of research before I started writing. Um, so it was the research that took a long time. Um, and then also, I think being a therapist and sort of getting your, because um, you're kind of disclosing a lot, a lot about yourself when you write a book. Yeah. And I think that's the sort of hard bit was, you know, on a professional level, what people are going to think of me, what would clients think of me, what would past clients think? And I think that was was quite tricky to navigate. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. I think so many people have a sort of or, or, or develop a kind of particular kind of imposter syndrome while they're writing a book or, or even before um, and, and, and worry. And it's especially it is particularly a female thing, I think. I don't think in my experience, not so many men get that worry about about the possibility of being criticised um, and, uh, you know, sort of um, putting yourself out there in a vulnerable way. But it's something that I think um, I think a lot of women feel. Um, and that's again, that's that's what I hope that the Abu group with, you know, a lot of women around each other doing all sort of supporting each other helps to overcome um, Jenny what was your what, what did you feel was the biggest challenge for you when you started or before you started okay well both of those things for starters but beyond that I mean as you remember I was absolutely shocked when I realized other people were going to read it <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs> oh no I've got to have beta readers so so that was a bit of a shock and I'm not a planner I'm a jump in and get it started um and that drove me nuts but it was the only thing that got the book finished because it this this myth that we can sit down for a day at a time or a big block of time it just doesn't it just doesn't happen most of us are too busy and we can't take a whole block of time so having the plans you know doing it structurally knowing what i was going to write meant i could snatch 20 minutes here or there um i think the key thing for me was i'm not a completer finisher i love to start many many things and lots of things seem like a great idea and I have to say for over 20 years I've been going to write this book and I remembered this morning that actually the first time I I, I purchased a course a writing course uh, write your book in da 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 and I, and it didn't happen that was over 20 years ago and then just before Lucy I'd also I met Lucy on another writing course um but, but that didn't really float my boat either because there wasn't any um, accountability. So Lucy, and, and also neither of those people really knew what they were doing, I don't think. I think they were lovely people and with good intentions, but it was very clear that Lucy was the one with the knowledge. Lucy knows what she's talking about. And as annoying as it can be, Fortunately, she's lovely, so that's okay. Um, if you listen to her, you won't go wrong. And when you get stuck, she's got an answer for everything. I don't know where she. That gets makes me sound incredibly annoying. I must say, <laughs> uh, you're not. It, 
it's the kind of thing I really need. I need accountability. Um, I needed the group. I needed the, the calls. I, I have a lot of personal drive, but I, I actually also need accountability. I need other people around me that I have to, I've said, I'm going to do this. I have to, I have to do it. Otherwise I procrastinate. Um, and I can take ages before I get anything finished. And so I think for me, that, that was the whole thing. Like, if I start this, am I going to have time? How am I going to achieve that? So the planning, the structure gave me time because I knew what every chapter was going to be. I knew all the subtitles in every chapter and I could sit down and snatch 20 minutes and write that little subsection um, mm -hmm. separate to everything else. And so that really, that bought me time. And I think that's the part of the course that was really important for me, the accountability, coming on the calls, having everybody there, Lucy's encouragement, firm but fair. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, for me anyway, and, and we all want different things, but, but those things were the things that really made the big difference for me. Uh, and, and, she, and you, I'm sorry, Lucy, but you really care whether we get that book finished or not. It's and true, that, I do. That, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> that comes through everything so no you're not fierce or anything else but but you are quite firm very fair and it really does help encourage and and it matters to you whether we finish that book mm. and and so i didn't want to let you down oh well yeah have you heard of the um have you have you come across the four tendencies quiz yeah. um you there, the, yeah so I'm, you're you're yeah. obviously an obliger jenny that means you 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 respond to out, exterior deadlines fortunately yeah but yeah, I, hit, yeah. I hit my own deadlines too because i've just got my master's so you know i can work and that was yeah. online so i can do it but actually having having somebody there encouraging um and you bring us all together to encourage so I think Abu brings so much. Um, yeah, it wouldn't have happened without without the group, really. Oh, not, well, thanks. Not for another 20 that. years. <laughs> <laughs> I might not have. <laughs> Taruna, what did you think was going to be the biggest challenge for you when you started or before you started writing? Yeah. For me, it was, um, I know my grammar isn't brilliant. And I know that, and I thought, how? how can I write a book? My grammar's not brilliant. But you assured me that actually, don't worry about that. We're going to have an editor. They're going to help you. And I think that was the other thing. I didn't know anything about writing a book or publishing. I didn't even know about hybrid publishing. And I, well, the only thing I knew was, you know, you went to a publishing house and, you know, paid thousands of pounds and you had thousands of copies of books out there. But obviously the hybrid model works really well. So if I'm honest, I made, I made a decision to write a book, but I didn't really know anything. And I'm so glad that I joined the first Abu Circle because that really helped me. And like the others have said, and like Jenny said, um, I'm really good with accountability because I don't like to let myself down, but equally, I don't like to let others down. And I echo what Jenny said, you, you really had, um, you really wanted us to finish our book. So, you know, you were there for us and you know what's happening have you you said you were going to do this have we done it and I loved that because I always thought oh I know Lucy's going to ask me have I done this I said I'd do it so that worked that really worked for me and also I had a deadline because I wanted to enter the business book awards 2020 so I knew I had to you know what my deadline was to get it all done and uh, I, I, you know and I'm still proud of my achievement you know I still absolutely so you should you know and I call now I say it, you know, I stand in my and you know in my energy and, and that now I do say to people I'm an author and I say it really proudly because you know you'll probably know the stats. Many people say they want to write a book, but who actually writes one? So yeah, you know, it's very actually true. having written a book is great. And I still remember one of my nephews saying, Oh, let's look at your book then. And he was quite surprised that it was actually a proper professionally <laughs> written, published book. I thought you're cheeky. Person. <laughs> um, 
but that's families for you isn't it um, absolutely yeah yeah no no i i really i really think i mean i'm 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 very motivated by the idea that um for women particularly um writing a book is a gender neutral way of establishing your credibility and it's you know even more powerful for women to do it in in many ways than for men because we lack credibility in the eyes of the world very often but i also think that it's so good for um you know the the people around us too particularly you know our 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 children or our younger family members who actually see a woman that maybe they just think of as mum or an aunt or a you know sort of somebody in the home can actually write a book and be a you know powerful um uh, business person or someone on a mission so that that's i think that's great to hear taruna um, uh, so um, Michaela asked, how, uh, it would be lovely to know how you all met Lucy and Jenny, you said you were, you were on a, on a writing course. Um, and that's how, that's how we, that's how we met. Um, Taruna, what, how, how did we met? Uh, I can't uh, even remember anymore. So. Uh, you know how we met? Because you wanted somebody to uh, read your book, the, the, a, a boob book. That, oh, right. Um, and um Sophie had designed it for you. So I knew Sophie Drury already. And then she right. put thing out in her group. Uh, would anybody like to read this book and give uh, do a review? And I and I I don't know what is what what why I thought I could review your book, but I thought, yeah, I'll do it. And that's how we met. <laughs> oh well that's brilliant. I'd completely forgotten that, Taruna, but that's that's really that's really good. And thank you for reviewing the book. It was very well, we read helpful. A book and then I was sort of in your um, you know, then we connected and that yeah. and then when I heard you were doing Abu Circle and then I thought actually I have got a book in me and it was the one I wrote obviously and actually oh. it inspired me to write another book which is not a business book but it's about me um, as you know I'm really passionate about cooking so a recipe book come memoir so fantastic a run through uh, the thread of you know these are the recipes in our family but this is my journey as an immigrant and how that impacts and um, that's going to be a lovely book so, yeah, and I know I can use the skills from writing outstanding and how you structure and everything. I can use that again for writing that book. So, <laughs> yeah, it's given me a blueprint for doing that. So I know yes, I can write exactly. another book, you know, using the blueprint. That's great. That's that's really good to hear. Crystal, how did how did we how did we meet? Well, we, we sort of didn't really. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to a friend of mine who's a fellow mum and she, I was talking to her about how I wanted to write this book and she said oh I know what you should do I heard about this book coach and she runs this and she was talking to me all about you and, and Abu and and your sort of values about helping women write books and um and I thought oh this sounds right up my street that's what I need someone to sort of coach me through it a bit and just to keep me going so I don't go oh forget it I can't um so I sort of just went to your website signed up oh brilliant well that's 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 great yeah well it's a bit of everything there isn't it sort of networking word of mouth yeah. um but yeah no no that's that's great and um, and so so now your books uh now your books are out um tell me um Christelle let's stay with you what are the best things that have happened to you what is the book magic that's happened to you since your book's been published I think um so since the book's been published I think people in my world of psychotherapy take me a bit more seriously and um I've been asked to talk on webinars um on sort of for, th for other therapists and um and to just get and to give talks to other therapists about not just this topic but other topics now um so i think it's just given me a little bit more credibility as a therapist um and i think and i've definitely getting more clients and more clients who are mums who are struggling with their emotions and may have seen that I've written a book and it's sort of given me credibility to them. So I'm sort of getting more, more clients through the door in that way. That's great. That's exactly. And also you've missed out that you've also got a lot of, um, you've had a lot of PR and media coverage. Um, <laughs> I, I, I keep seeing you posting, you know, I was on the radio. I've been in this, um, in this magazine, there's loads of stuff that you've got. And I, I, yeah. I, I like to think that that's, you know, at least partly because of the book. It, it, I mean, it is because of the book, because if a journalist is out there looking 
um, to write an article and you say, hey, I've written a book, they're quite keen to um, then talk to you and then and, and write an article. Um, and then there's a lot of um, uh, publications who are looking for like an expert comment or yeah. to come to jump on to like a radio show and talk for five minutes or 10 minutes about a thing. And then they'll say, we'll talk about your book at the end. So um, it's, it's, I don't think I would have been asked to do that or given that opportunity before publishing the book. And, and then from, from that, another publication have asked me to write articles for them. And then they said that they'll pay me to write articles, which is pretty cool. Which, you know, to be paid to write is the dream for me. So. Yes, absolutely. No, that's, that's brilliant. I mean, no, I think, I mean, I, I genuinely believe that nothing says expert like being the author of a book. You can, you know, put a book on the table in front of people. You can send them to your to your Amazon page. But once they know you've written the book, they just most people and, and, and the media go looking for people on Amazon um, because obviously if you've written a book, you must be an expert. So. Um, so, yeah, that's really, really good to hear. Jenny, what what are the best things that have happened to you since since writing the book? What's um what are the magic book magic? Um, the unfortunately, mine was published right as we went into lockdown, as you might remember. <laughs> yeah, but that was both fortunate and unfortunate in a sense because um there was um a huge amount of interest online, um and as online was all anybody was doing, that was helpful. Somebody from Ireland, Southern Ireland, contacted me, and we did a um uh an interview for radio which was quite scary um so there's been a few little things like that not not as exciting as yours crystal <laughs> but um on my course on my my supervisor on my final part of my masters she obviously she's a psychologist lecturer and she she read the book and got very excited about it and and i know my book is a christian book and i know that's not everybody's cup of tea but um, she read it and she was really struggling with a friend whose child was dying. Um, and she decided, even though she'd never had anything to do with God, that she would read the book. And then she decided to pray for the child. And actually, miraculously, the child he got healed. So she decided she'd give God a bash uh, for herself, give him a bit of a try yeah. for herself. And she's delighted and she's got confidence and she feels like she's... Um, not on her own anymore and so that for me was really important and I know that's not business but that was that was really important to me but aside from that um business wise uh, we get donations come through the website all the time now for the charity the charity that I run is not funded in any other way other than um the me fundraising the book sales are in the shop as well as um on Amazon and they've been going a storm um in fact, we had another donation only last week that said, I read your book. What you're doing is awesome. Keep up the good work. No, oh, that's brilliant. It's really lovely. But the, I guess the strangest one of all was my daughter travels abroad a lot. And she um, was in San Francisco about three months ago. Um, her partner works for Google and they were out with a load of his colleagues. And it transpired that this lady that he works with knew about my book and there's a huge church out there that are all using my book as like a um, uh, a course really wow how fantastic um, and it, uh, it was actually triggered and this was something lucy you say you know get yourself somebody that's going to write on it on on it and and stuart bell from ground level wrote this book is filled with practical wisdom that's bringing help and hope and the people that bought it knew stuart bell because he's a really big name in the Christian circles. So they bought the book, not because of me, they bought the book because they knew Stuart Bell. Um, but when they read it, they liked it. And so they're running a whole course out there, um, which has triggered for me like, okay, I need a workbook alongside this. Yeah. Um, unfortunately I got unwell then and I've had to have a, a total knee replacement, which takes forever to get over. Um, but, but the great thing was they're actually using it out there. And now they're talking about the possibility of me being able to go over and talk to that particular church out in San Francisco which fantastic was but our pastor in our church has asked me to write a course um, for church and to do um, a string of trainings for um, you know video training for um, our church and I've got several other churches that I'm planning 
to take that too um, and start setting up a course in various churches to help people. So it's caused quite a lot of stir in my immediate circles, um, which, which, I mean, I, I had no idea what I wanted it for, except that I felt people needed to know. Um, and mm -hmm. I just think there's some really basic stuff that sometimes people just don't know because they're not in that area, they're not in that field. And understanding why you feel like you do is so difficult mm -hmm. if, if nobody's ever talked to you about, well, you know, part, your past can be impacting how you behave today. And so I just wanted to share that message, really, seeing how well it's gone down and um, changed the lives of some of the girls that have lived with us. Um, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, Dana says, um, says um, what a testimony and amazing. Well done. Um, Michaela says you're being too modest, Jenny. This all sounds incredible. And yeah, I mean, you are being too modest in saying, oh, it's just a bit of the it's not just a bit, you know, it's it's massive what's happening with your book. That's yeah. that's absolutely that's just so impressive. And you say it's not a business book, but I mean, I'm sorry to put it in this way, but you are in the business of God. And so you are you are getting out the message that you want to get out through through the medium of your book. So um, I you know, I mean, you might not want to call it a business book and I can quite understand that. But nonetheless, it's it's working for what you work on. And I suppose that kind of. Um, I suppose my day job is helping to change lives. So if yeah. it's changing lives, then I'm happy. Um, and and it's not it's not about the finances, but it's it's great because finances change lives too, because you can't you can't do stuff without no, exactly. I think it's wonderful that your book is encouraging people to donate to your charity. That's that's fabulous. It's really helpful, believe me. <laughs> Yeah, that's brilliant. So, so Taruna, you had a, a slightly different mission when you started writing your book in that you wanted to tell people a load of stuff um, before they came to you so they didn't ask you the same questions over and over again. And so what's what's happened to you since since the book's been published? Has it worked on that level? And what else has what else has happened? Um, yeah, it's definitely worked at that level because I do get people contacting me after they've bought my book because oh, I read your book, really love it. Um, how can I work with you? So that's been good. Um, and I have the, the, book, the option for them to buy the book through my website. So that's really great because they love it when the author actually sends them the book. <laughs> yeah. And I send a little compliment slip with it, you know, and they, they love that. And then I, I also, because doing it that way, I get their details. So then I'm able to... Um, continue uh, connection with them as you know uh, speak to them the other thing the book's done for me is uh, saying to the editor of aesthetics journal that I'm an author and I've written a book as well as what I do uh, helped me to be able to write an article for them last year and then I've just written another one for in their June magazine and they'll continue uh, you know happily me writing articles for them um, as long as I want to because they think it's great and for me it's great because I'm able to write an article talk about what I do talk about different subjects but again it's that added credibility of author writing for the aesthetic because aesthetics journal is really big in the aesthetic sector has a you know good following and everything um and when I've spoken to Lynn she said you know even in the last couple of days that oh you know that I've just uh, my, my articles in the aesthetics done oh wow yeah great we'll look out for it so it's helped me to do that and it's actually given me confidence in my own knowledge and skills um it, it sounds weird doesn't it I know I don't need a book to have that but the the book and people reading it and then giving me five star reviews or contacting me it, it bolsters that if you like and that's really a nice feeling to have isn't it um absolutely and that's important to me. So, and you know what I love? This is going to sound really, <laughs> I still can't believe it when I get my email to say I've got a royalty check. I still <laughs> get so excited and I show my husband the email, say, look, I've got another royalty. I still can't believe that people in the background are still buying my book. And I don't know who they are, but th th those other ones th through Amazon. So I know I've written something that is helping people to understand about the CQC so it, it, for me it's done what I set out to do is a it's a lead generator because I do have a business so 
for me, it is a lead generation um, tool, if you like, but also it gives me credibility having the book out there and saying to people, oh, I'm an author. And sometimes if they want, if they do contact me and they don't know about the book, I'll say to them, you know, I have got a book. And then invariably they will either go buy an Amazon or buy it through my website. And it's only, you know, at first I wasn't confident saying to people I'm an author, but now I say it. And I think you just have to own it that you are an author like Jenny you need to own it Crystal you need to <laughs> <Absolutely>. own it <laughs> yeah yeah definitely no I think that's wonderful I, I mean and I love you know the thinking that you're um, hearing that your book has given you confidence and I, I, I do think and I don't know I mean you might want to disagree with me but I think for all of you that actually the writing process gives you confidence as well because it forces you to kind of examine what you've done and who you are and how you do it and talk about your process mm -hmm. and sometimes it helps I think you know writing a book helps you clarify your own business model or whatever you know or the process you work through with other people whatever it is that you do mm -hmm. and that I, mean, I know that everybody who who writes a book, well, particularly every woman who writes a book goes through a period of thinking, oh, this is awful. This is rubbish. Why am I writing this? I should never have started. And there's a kind of imposter syndrome that I think it really helps to be in a group of other people where you can see that you're not the only one going through this. It's not you. It's not your book. That's the problem. It's just part of the process. But yeah. also that when you get out the other side and you finish writing your book and, and sometimes, especially when you get the edited manuscript back. Yeah. And I've no, you know, I know a number of authors who say, oh, gosh, did I write this? This is really good. And it's not that you have. Of course, you wrote it. But, you know, just having that extra external polish kind of gives you uh, um, gives you an extra you kind of you know you see it in a different light and it just is even better than you thought it would be and, and that I hope you know kind of gives you confidence personally and professionally as well I think it gives you clarity um, in your profession for me it showed me where I'd come from how we'd got where we were and where we where we needed to go in the future as as the charity um, so wow. that's really that's interesting Jenny it was a your your system is a really powerful mechanism for pulling out all all the things that you just do naturally you know particularly women we just do stuff we don't think what we do is important we just do stuff and we're always doing stuff when you have to sit down and go what do i want to say what's feeding what i want to say and that's what you're asking us to do in the structure in the structuring and and so that for me because i'm i'm a like bull in a china shop sit down think about it and put it down step by step mm. gave me great clarity and has actually altered a little bit where we're heading now um, as a as a longer term consequence of that um, we've just introduced a new house um, it's called a it's, it's called a, um, a forever home because wow. a lot of our young women it's one of the reasons they they can't move on is because they don't have a, a stable base yeah um, gosh and that's fairly key for lots of people. So, so with instead of we're always looking at moving on, you know, get better, get better, move on, move on. And they don't want to move on. Um, they they want the stability of a forever home. So we're mm -hmm. just introducing a forever home. And that was the result of writing the book and it getting that clarity of what what we were actually trying to achieve. What we were trying to get was confident, competent people at the other end. Um, in fact, the next book might be. A plus B equals C. Acceptance plus belonging equals contentment. Oh, oh I love wow. that. <laughs> um, I wanted to add, the other thing the book's done for me is um, I entered the Women Who um, Awards, and this year I entered it for um, a service-based business working from home. So I've always worked from home. I, you know, I've been in business 10 years now. And it started out of necessity because I wouldn't afford the rents for offices, but actually I found it worked really well for me, so why change it? Um, but it was really great when you're writing the awards and you have to uh, you know, ask the different questions. It was really great saying I'm a published author and that you know I was a finalist in the business book awards and that and it really made me think actually I've achieved quite a few things you know in 2020, 2019. And, it, you know, it, it gives you that time to look, like Jenny said, reflect what you have achieved. And 
uh, I, I took my book with me when I, I was uh, to the judging panel and they were really quite impressed with the quality of it. And I don't know what the people expect, but maybe they think it's self-published. I said, no, no, it's hybrid publishing. And they were quite impressed with the quality of it and everything. Good. That's a difference, you know? Um, That's brilliant. So again, I was able to use this as to show them, you know, this, this is what I've been able to do with my knowledge and skills that I have in running my business. And it was really great to pull it out of my handbag and show the judges that like, this is my book I was telling you about. So it gives you that as well, you know, when you're applying for, if you are, you know, applying for awards. And awards are a really great way to reflect your business. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're so right, Taruna. Um, Dana's just asked a really interesting question, which I think, Jenny, possibly you've already answered. But what is something that each of you hope to accomplish using your book, either directly or indirectly, moving forward? So, Crystal, have you got a, an answer to that question? Is, have you got something in mind that you'd really like to achieve on the basis of having written your book? I, I think to write more books. Um, I think um, writing the book is kind of addictive to me. It's yeah. Now I've got the bug and now I want to keep writing more, more and more books. Um, I find it immensely therapeutic for myself and um and just to keep um just getting you know I suppose writing the book for me has made me it's made me go through this really interesting process of like I of I have these sort of thoughts and these experiences as a therapist and as a mum and talking to other mums and just sort of getting them out there and then having people going oh no that really resonates with me I really get that it's sort of given me the confidence to keep going with that and saying, look, I have got something to say and other mums have something to say and other women have something to say and let's just get, keep getting that out there. That's that's great. And you are writing another book, aren't you? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I Yes, I'm hoping to write some series of books and see where that goes. Yeah, that's fantastic. And um, Crystal, you've got a... Um, you're you're giving a workshop in the near future, I think. Yeah, so I wanted, so in the book, I talk a lot about how uh, mums can ground themselves and um, regulate their emotions. And that's sort of big on sort of how, how we can regulate our emotions. So I'm, I'm doing a workshop next week, um, which I'm just going to show some really practical ways of, of emotional regulation and just some two hours of giving space and just um so Fantastic. yeah I'm going to do that from my my home in North London that's that's wonderful so we'll put a link to that in the comments um Thank so you. that people if, if anybody wants to um to go to Crystal's workshop then um um you can get in touch with her mm -hmm. um Jenny um Dana also asked um she says oh my gosh Jenny that's amazing how can we support you so what can what can we do to help you um move forward from the process of your of your book and your and your charity and, and all the wonderful work you do how what, what would be um yes Dana's just said can we get the details of your workshop um um so yes and Michaela's just posted that Crystal so Jenny what can we do for you how can we help you uh in your work I, I suppose it's 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 just uh, it's very difficult because my work is 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 niche like Taruna said about hers so I guess it's letting people know about the book and sending people to the website because when people understand what we do um, if I, I go to churches or to ladies functions or I mean I'll, I'll talk any I'll talk to a lamppost you know I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the opening of a fridge door me so <laughs> if people know groups that they're involved in and would like to know more about um, understanding your background and, and what makes you respond the way you respond today and and uh, perhaps people that need that light bulb moment of oh so that's why I do that that's why I get cross here that's why I can't cope with for instance I won't I won't go into a room and sit in the middle of people I have to be near the door I have to have my back to the wall and that's all to do with something that occurred in my childhood my mother was a bit unstable um, so that's a bit extreme, but that, you know, all of us have little niche things that we do that we perhaps don't understand. We just, that's how we are. Um, and so getting, getting the word out there and, and, and talking to people about 
how we can recognize those things and and help ourselves overcome them or help others overcome them really yeah that's brilliant and i love i love the title of your book for that jenny i think it's so inclusive we're all a little bit broken and it's so true <laughs> I know it's it, it um, the title is helpful in that it's the truth, um, but it leaves people not quite sure what it's all about. So I, I wasn't quite sure whether I should have been more specific, but I think the subtitle from journey from hurting to healing then gives gives the whole package. So, yes, it, it took a long, find, long time finding, didn't it, Lucy, that title? Absolutely. Uh, yes. We kicked yes. around a lot. But in the end, yes, I think and I think. Um, it was very clever the way that they drew the 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 letters sort of slightly not in line yes it's that, brilliant it's, that, a, it's a really yeah it's it's uh that was um i've forgotten his name yes joe joe yes, yes all yes. i could see was gregory and i know that's not his name <laughs> yes no no my business partner in reading yes, press joe. joe gregory yeah yes i met joe again at, at that other course and uh, it just was obvious that you two had the knowledge and the skills and yeah he he helped design the cover which yeah was it is a it is a great cover and a great title and subtitle taruna what what, what can we do what can we do to um to help you anything um, that we can yeah, what I will do, um, <laughs> it'll be a bit later on, I'll, I'll send it to Michaela. Um, I've got a link to the electronic thing of the article I wrote. So oh, it's yes. a bit niche, but it might be useful for people. It's about infection control. So infection control is important wherever you are, whether you're at home or in any office. I think, although it's for a niche thing, it might be useful for people who have premises or commercial premises. So I will put that in. One thing I wanted to say was, what I found was I didn't realize that I was being an inspiration to some of my family until they told me at a wedding. Um, so I read my book. Yes, my family knows I've written a book. But um, and also, you know, going up for, for the awards and being a finalist and everything. But I was surprised when they said, actually, you know, we're really so proud of what you do. That's so you wonderful. Don't know what your family think of you or other people, because you know, like on social media, LinkedIn, you put stuff out and you talk about things. You don't really know who the lurkers are, but sometimes something out of the blue comes up and people say, oh, yeah, I know who you are because I've seen your book or you've, you're the lady who wrote that book. So don't forget, you may not get somebody say something to you directly, but there may be something watching you from the back mm. uh, background. And then when the time is right, they may come to you. So uh, that was a lesson, very important lesson I learned, you know. And it's lovely to be inspiring, especially for me, because, you know, I'm an Asian woman, you know, and I haven't seen that many books written, business books written by Asian women. I think that very few and far between. So it's nice for me to show people like me that, yes, you can do it, too. Absolutely. No, that's that's so absolutely true, um, um, Tarina. And I'm God, I'm incredibly proud of all of you and all of your books. So wonderful. But it is uh, and it and, uh, for me, it's very special for women to write their books, as I've already said, and and gain that credibility and authority and their, you know, sort of accepted place where, of course, you should be anyway. But of course, you know, if you if you come from any kind of minority, then again, the book is such a such a good way of kind of breaking through barriers. Um, and, and I think, uh, you know, it's really important. I mean, you, you're a really great role model in that, Taruna, because I think often, you know, people from different ethnic backgrounds feel that writing a book is something they can't do, that nobody would uh, nobody would do it with them, um, publish them. And it's, you know, that's that's a sort of. Um, you know, by having done it and being being out there and being that author, Taruna, you're really being fantastic, a, a wonderful role model. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. Um, and, and thanks to all of you. Um, it's just been <laughs> it's been really, really heartwarming for me. And I hope for everyone else hearing how your books really have created magic for you um, as authors, but also for so many people. It's been such, you know, just even if one person, I think reads your book and gets value and has their life transformed in some way that's wonderful but for all of you it's you know so many people you talk you've all talked about being niche and be 
being but actually you know you're not particularly niche there's lots of people in all your niches um who are really um really need what you have to say so i just want to say thank you so much for having taken that plunge and written your books and and um uh crystal and jenny and taruna do come back and um look at the posts in um where you know where where the recording will be um in the facebook group and you'll see um you know lots of positive comments but also do put in any other links that you'd like us to or you'd like to share uh, Michaela sums it up at the end by saying you are all incredible so oh. thank you so much everybody <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you for being here and um, for sharing with us and I hope that um, your books will your next books will go out and do as much uh, even more and thank you thank you again you are indeed all brilliant Thank you. Thank you. How are you, Lucy? <laughs> Thank uh, you. And so are you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <That's laughs> <an> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. Thank you.